Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. And also, shalom, uh, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers that's out there um, that push this truth with, uh, uh, push this word with truth and with faith. All right. My name is uh, Thabawa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I want to, uh, I want to just speak briefly about you know being tired or being weary uh in this flesh uh because you know anybody that's been doing this for a little while will realize that you have moments where you are extremely uh drained man you know you get drained of energy uh putting up with this you know having to put up with this wickedness day in and day out all right it drains at your energy you get drained of your energy it's just the fact that we don't have uh, any type of refuge or any rest, you know, which of course we know that the scriptures tell us we don't have any rest. Matter of fact, I got that pulled up right here. Micah chapter two, uh, verse 10, it says, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. And that's the situation we find ourselves in is, uh, we're in a, we're in a scenario underneath this red Hebrew Edomite, um, which, uh, is Esau Edom. All right. They commonly refer to themselves. The people of Esau Edom commonly refers to themselves as uh, Caucasians. Right. But biblically, they are uh, red Hebrew Edomites underneath their captivity, which that's what we are. That's what today's day and age, 2019, the world is underneath the captivity of Esau Edom. All right. The so-called white man. They, they are the ones that is calling all the shots and underneath their uh, rule. You know, we find ourselves in a in a place of great burden. All right, we find ourselves in a place that is very wicked, as the scripture just as we just read, it is polluted. All right, it is a polluted place, and it's destroying um, our people. All right, and also for us that that you know have a, a inkling about what's going on, it it tears away at our um, at our psyche, man. It tears away at a uh, uh, at our energy because we have to put up so much just to uh maintain ourselves man just to maintain ourselves in this damn society you know because even if you do get a day uh, a day with some time off you can't even fully relax because you always in the back of your mind have some type of mental anguish going on whether it be the fact that you know that you got to go back to work the next day or if it be you know because some type of scenarios coming up or your car is getting ready to fall apart on you you know or you, you, your kid is coming to that age where they're being rebellious or so on and so forth, man. There's always uh, little things that is, is constantly uh, uh, trying to chip away at our spirit. All right. And the reason why is because we, we are not in our rest. Now, there's a defense towards that, you know, with us being um, even though we, we get tired, our flesh, it gets weary. We get weary in the flesh. We're not supposed to get weary in the spirit, man. We're supposed to be renewing our spirit. And we're supposed to be trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai um, uh, to be our rest, to be our refuge, even though uh, physically we, we have no place of refuge. All right. We're supposed to not um, uh, get tired in doing well. You know, you being tired isn't an excuse for you to start being a, a piece of crap uh, spiritually or, or brotherly, you know. Just because you're tired in the flesh, man, you know, so even though even though we're constantly uh, uh, constantly getting our battery drained, you know, we, we still have to maintain ourselves in the sight of the Lord. And uh, there's a couple scriptures that I want to grab that's going to help uh, illustrate that point. Uh, first, I want to go to Galatians just because I just said that um, we got to continue. Um, we got to continue in the in the right ways, man. This is Galatians chapter six, verse nine. It says, let us not uh, let us not be weary in well doing for in due season. We shall rape. Uh, I'm sorry. We shall reap. Salakia slip of tongue. We shall reap if we faint not. All right. So we're not supposed to get tired in doing the right thing, because guess what? All of our all of our actions is going to be rewarded. And if you're doing the right thing, well, you're going to receive a righteous reward. Isn't that is that not fair? If you're doing the right thing for you to get a righteous reward. Now, if you're doing the wrong thing, you should receive a wicked reward, you know, and that's just the way uh, that it works. 
So for us, even though we're tired in the flesh, that doesn't mean that we stop doing this truth. You know, that doesn't mean that we stop preaching about Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, feeding the flock. That doesn't mean that we do that just because we get tired. Now, other groups may do that, but us here at Great Millstone, we, we have a standard, man. All right. We are men of a standard, and that standard is we're not gonna we're not gonna settle for uh, any less. All right, we want that gold standard. We don't want the silver standard. We don't want the bronze standard. We want that gold standard, man. We want to be when Yahushua comes back. We want to be found with faith. All right, we want to be in that ceremony where men are getting crowned by Yahushua and getting palms in their hands. We we want to be all a part of that. All right, so let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So even though we're we're physically getting uh, torn down and we're physically getting drained, mentally and spiritually we gotta continue going, man. We gotta continue going. Let me grab another one that's gonna uh, uh, a precept to this Galatians. This is Second uh, Thessalonians, um, chapter three, verse thirteen, which reads: It says, "But ye brethren." But ye brethren, be not weary in well doing. So this is just this is the exact same type of thing, man. Okay, be not weary in well doing. So continue doing the right thing, even though we're not in our rest, even though we're constantly surrounded by wickedness, and we have to suffer that wickedness, man. We're constantly being vexed by the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, we're constantly having to see things that that internally is gonna you know is gonna tick us off man it's really gonna uh, upset us because we can see how wicked it is we can see how against the heavenly father it is and we don't have uh any type of power or authority to do anything about it you know and that 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 does upset us man you know me personally it it, it makes me really mad when i see just blatant blatant uh wickedness happening right before my face man you know, because I want that type of thing. I want those kind of things far from me. All right. The homosexuality, the, the way women are raised today to where they could just uh, uh, they have the freedom to do whatever the hell they want. You know, uh, children that's just completely disobedient and unruly towards their parents. You know, things like that. These people <laughs> and the way they, they, you know, they'll take care of their dog better than they take care of their child. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. It, it 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 should make you mad if you're a man of the Lord, if you're following after the law, statutes, and commandments to the very best of your ability. If you actually have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that should make you mad, man. It will tear tear away at you, you know. But no matter what, you're supposed to keep your faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You're supposed to continue continue making sure that you're doing the right thing and not worry about what the wicked is doing, man. And that's the scripture in the Apocrypha that says, uh, be not, I believe it's in the Apocrypha. It says, uh, 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 how's it phrased? It's, uh, uh, worry not how the ungodly, uh, shall be punished, but rather how the, um, uh, how the righteous shall be saved. You know, I believe that's the way it's, uh, that's a, a, a rough, uh, phrasing of it. Uh, how that how that goes um so that's we're supposed to be uh more focused on on that kind of thing focused on how the the righteous shall be saved rather than being so concerned with how the the uh wicked shall be punished man so like you real quick let me see if i can find that um I believe that I believe that's in the apocrypha. Let me select you, select you real quick. Bear with me, uh, real real fast as I search to try to find that scripture. R I G H T. E O U S shall be saved. K J V A. Um, let me see. Second Ezra seven. Let's let's look and see if that's where it's at. All right, let's look real fast and see if that's where it's at. If not, it's fine. You know, if you brothers do find it, uh, and you happen to see this, then post it in the comment board. 
but I'm going to see if it's here in 2nd Ezra, the 7th chapter, um, and see if, uh, if this is where it's at. Um, 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 bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me, Bubba Sha. Um, dang. So, Salakia, you know, I, this is taking a lot more time uh, than I thought it would. And usually I'm pretty quick with uh, uh, pulling up stuff like that. Uh, but I didn't find it. But there's a scripture that that's that's you know phrased like that. Be not, um, don't worry not about how the ungodly shall be punished, but rather how the righteous shall be saved. Which that's a you know that's a good point, man. If you're taking care of yourself, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, then then that's all you can do, man. Because you can't you physically can't save anybody else. You got to work out your own salvation. All right. Uh. Anyway, moving on. Back to the topic of uh. Of being tired, but keeping our trust in, in the Lord. Let's go to uh, this real quick. Let's go to Matthew chapter 11 and we'll start at verse 28 and we'll read uh, the end of the chapter. OK, and this is the words of Yahweh Shai. It says, um, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that's that's exactly what we're doing, man. We're, we are laboring right now and we are heavy laden, being that we are in. Um, uh, we got a lot of burdens going on, man. All right, we got a we got a we got a a large stack on our back. All right, we're taking slack from um uh our flack as Ashayar would say. I'm I'm not sure which word is is supposed to be used there, but um we're taking crap basically from Esau Edom being lords over us, and then we're taking crap from being Israelites and trying to do the right thing in a wicked society. All right, and so on and so forth, man. Taking crap from our women taking crap from our children, taking crap from our vehicles, all right? It says, um, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and shall, uh, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, all right? So following after Yahweh Shem Shai is where you will find that rest, all right? Because truly, once you once you have the understanding of of Yahweh Shem Shai, what the will of the Heavenly Father is, what's going to happen, and how uh, you absolutely have no control over any of it, things do start getting easier, man. Granted, it'll still you're still gonna get worn out sometimes. You're still gonna feel that tiredness, but things do get easier, man, because the yoke is easy and the burden is light. Only thing we gotta do is maintain our faith and our integrity. That's it, you know. Maintain our faith and our integrity. Don't trust our enemy, man. Do the duty of man, which is to fear the heavenly Father and love our brother as ourself. I mean, it is it's real simple. It's real simple. Okay. Um. Again, let me get uh, Hebrews, uh, the fourth chapter. All right. Let's go to Hebrews chapter four. Let's go through uh, verse nine. It says, um, "There remaineth." It says, uh, "Let me let me start up a little bit." It says, this is verse 8, uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 8. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of the Heavenly Father. So we being Israelites, right now we don't have our rest. Right now we're not in the time of our rest. But there do remain, a, uh, uh, there is a, a time when we will receive our rest, man. I got to open up this door. It's getting real hot in this car, so like it. Um, there is a time where we will, um, receive our rest. Okay. It says for he that is entered into his rest, he also have ceased from his own works as the most high did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So we're supposed to, we got to continue. Uh, uh, we got to continue with the push. All right. Even though we're tired, even though we're weary, we got to continue to labor. We got to continue moving. 
So that way we can enter into that rest. All right. We got to continue moving so that way we can find ourselves in a place of rest, man. Because the rest is promised to us, and it's gonna be glorious, man. That that rest that we're gonna get, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a, a spa day, man. You know, an everlasting vacation. All right, no worries. It's gonna be a, a time of uh, the real akuna matata, man. All right, <laughs> from the Lion King. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Some brothers might get that. This is um, uh, brothers from the camp. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse uh, 25. Akuna Matata, motherfucker, from the Lion King. Anyway, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 25. It says, um, um, For I have, uh, uh, for I have, uh, sat, 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 is that what that word is? For I have satated the weary soul and have replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awaked and behold, my sleep was sweet unto me. Okay, so this is, he's, he's going into further stuff. But that's basically what I wanted was uh, chapter 25. For I have uh, satated the weary soul and have replenished every sorrowful soul. So that time of replenishment is coming upon us, man. Because right now we're sorrowful. Right now we are weary. But guess what? We're going to we're going to reach our time when uh, th that's not going to be the case anymore, man. We won't be sorrowful. We won't be weary anymore. All right. We'll be able to be rejuvenated and our batteries will be everlasting. They won't be uh, constantly getting zapped and drained. This is Hebrews chapter 12. And we'll start at verse 12. OK, it says, um, wherefore, lift up the head, um, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. And make it strafe the paths of your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. All right. Let it rather be healed. OK, so, uh, so that those those uh, um, hands which hang down is those hands that's that's uh, 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 they, they're tired, man. All right. And those feeble knees. All right. Hey, none of none of that's gonna gonna help you if you just constantly um uh um constantly got that on your mind and and convincing yourself that you're tired and and this is the end of the road for you. You know that's not gonna help. You gotta you gotta lift up those hands which hang down in those feeble knees. Meaning you gotta keep it moving, man. You gotta keep it pushing one foot in front of the other. You know, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, just like that, man. All right, um. Last scripture I'm gonna grab, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. This is uh, uh this is the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter forty, uh, and we'll read verse twenty nine. All right. It says, um, actually, we'll we'll uh start at verse twenty seven. It says, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my power? Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is uh, no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint in them that have no might. He increaseth strength. All right. So it's the heavenly, the heavenly father doesn't get tired. And he uh, he's the one that rejuvenates your spirit, man. When you catch that second wind, just like if you was going on a jog or a run. All right. And you start getting tired. But if you keep on going, if you keep pushing through it, you'll catch that second wind and you won't even be tired no more. And you'll be ready to, to, to continue running uh, even further. And that's the same thing, man. In this in this the scriptures. All right. Uh, when you know these scriptures, when you got this word within you, you're supposed to be able to uh, catch the second wind, man. You start getting tired, jump into these scriptures and catch that uh, second wind. So that way uh, uh, you can uh, he can give you that power. All right. When you're faint and it says to them that have no might, he increases strength. All right. It says even the youth shall uh, shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and shall mount up with wings as eagles and they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint, man. OK, so keep your trust in the heavenly father. 
you know, keep maintaining your integrity in the Heavenly Father, even though you get tired sometimes, even though sometimes you're like, man, dang, you know, you 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 want to say enough is enough. Hey, keep it moving, man. So that way uh, you can receive the reward for all the work that you've been putting in. All right. Hey, but pretty much that was the point, man. Lord willing, this has been edifying and Lord willing, the message was received. And until next time, I'm going to say shalom.